are we? We are the Hebrew Israelites. What we come out here to do is wake up our people, right? Wake them up from the philosophies, the false doctrines, right? The indoctrination, right? The the, the spiritual slumber, right? That's right. what we're here to wake y'all up, man, and show y'all who y'all are, man. Okay? You are God's chosen people. Right. We are living in the last days, and the signs are all around us. Right. But you can't wake up and smell coffee, man. You ain't smelling the spiritual coffee. You smell the Folgers. <laughs> you smell the, 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 the hazelnut, right? right? right. You smell the, 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 uh, the white chocolate, the Starbucks. Right. But you don't smell what the most high is cooking. Right. You don't smell what's going on. You can't see with your, with your eyes because your eyes are not spiritual. Right. Right. Your eyes are just physical. Right. That's why you caught up in the young dog case. Right. That's why you caught up in the, uh, in the, in the ditty parties. Right. right, you caught up in all this stuff, but there's laws being passed right now. Not only laws, but there's there's many things going on around the world, man. You got a lot of wars happening right now in the Middle East. Right. Ukraine is asking for for more support from America. Right. How much support can you get from America? Right. America then sent billions and billions of dollars down there, damn near trillions. Right. So we're living in the last days, and like Cap Williams said at the beginning of the year, man. 2024 is the year of exposure. Right. It's huh. the year of truth. The truth shall be told, man. Right. And that's what you see what's going on across the globe. Okay, go ahead. Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. And now that knowing that it's the time, it is high time to wake out of sleep. But you don't want to do that. You're stuck in the conditions of Christianity. Right. Christianity don't teach you nothing but new songs. Right. And they don't even give you new songs. They give you the same songs every week, man. Right. Right? With the same old time bucket going past and around. Right. About 30 times. Christian, the Christian church ain't teaching you a damn thing, man. Right. The Catholic church ain't teaching you nothing. Right. Islam is not teaching you nothing. Right. We open up, we go scripture after scripture after scripture, way more scriptures than you ever heard in your Sunday school. Right. Okay? And that's what we come out here to do. That's what the men of the Lord are required to do. We can be relaxing in our homes. We can be out here walking and uh, chilling all hunky-dory with y'all. But no, we come out here because we're commanded by the Heavenly Father to come and preach this word in season and out of season. Right. Okay, go ahead and read it again for the time. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high, high time, time to, to wake, wake out of sleep. sleep. So now it is time to wake out of sleep. World War Three is brewing. Right. You got a civil war brewing, right? No matter who becomes the president, there's going to be a civil war behind that. There's going to be uh, uproars behind that. The Democratic Party, the Republican Party, they ready to go to war. They ready to go to war. And you Negroes don't care nothing about it. You don't care about World War III. You can't wait for the NBA season to start, right? You right. can't wait for uh, the football, uh, the Super Bowl to get in here. This is what y'all, this is what y'all worried about. In the year 2024, this is what our people are still worried about. Right. You worried about well, who was in the ditty parties, right? You want to know? You want to see the tapes? That's what y'all waiting on. Right. right. Y'all not waiting on the Lord. Right. Y'all not waiting on the truth to be exposed. Right. You just want to be entertained. Okay, go ahead. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. But now is our salvation nearer when we believe, man. When you see all these things, this is when you know the signs of the times is coming, man. Right. Okay, go ahead. Verse 12. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. So what day is at hand? The day of the Lord. Huh. We are living in a time of judgment. Right. There's judgment, and you're being warned by all the judgment around you, and you can't see it. Right. Y'all coming over here acting the servants of the Lord. Where's the tattoo convention? <laughs> right. This is what y'all worried about. Right. The goddamn tattoo convention. Okay. But the Lord is set showing you these signs and giving you a chance and a time to repent. Right. right. But you Negroes want to be in a ditty party. That's right. where you want to be. Right. You want to be in the ditty party. Go ahead. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. So we got to cast off the works of darkness. Right. Put off these, put these freak offs off, man. Right. Put off, put that Christianity down and open up your Bible. Right. 
Because the Christians and Christianity don't open up their Bible. Right. And if they do, they, they okay. completely read it out of context. They completely read it out of context, man. Okay, go ahead. And let us put on the armor of light. And what's the arm of the light? Mm. What's the arm of light? It's the law of statutes and commandments, man. Right. right. You got to keep these commandments. This is what makes you walk in light. This is what sets you apart from all of the rest. Right. You got to put that swine down. Right. You got to stop being an adulterer. Right. Stop being a homosexual. Right. Stop being a goddamn lesbian. Right. Okay? Stop being idol worshippers. Stop following the, the, the lust of your goddamn bellies, man. Right. Okay? It's time to be reformed. And how that reform starts? It starts in the mind. Right. Okay? Thoughts manifest in the flesh. Right. So you got to start changing your mind. Okay? Renewing your mind daily. Right. Stop trying to control them evil thoughts. Them evil, lustful thoughts that's in your mind on a daily basis. Right. Oh. Okay? This is how you start. This is how you become born again. Right. right. You don't dump your head in some water, dump your body in a goddamn pool. Right. Right? <laughs> what would a homosexual look like going in the pool right. and coming out of a pool? Talking about he's baptized. No, that's just a wet homosexual. Right. <laughs> right. That real. That's just a hey, wet brother. homosexual. Right. God requires change, man. That's right. Okay? And radical change. When you hear this thing, you're supposed to change. Right. Okay, go ahead. Verse 13. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting. Right, and walk honestly. We got to walk honestly in this day, man. You don't see your lies can only stand for so long, man. Everybody's being exposed. Mm. Hey, put some fringes on Cat Williams, man. Right. Put some fringes on that man because mm. he prophesied that day. Right. And everything, that, the names and everything. Right. Unless he's a fed. Right. Ain't no way that right. man know everything that right. happened like that. Right. The Lord showed him something. Right. The scriptures tell you that. Where's that in Amos? Um, so his words are prophets. Yeah, that, 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 that uh, yeah, all flat, uh, man, woman, and child shall prophesy. Yeah, Cat Williams was in the spirit, man. Right. Give me that one when you get it. Huh. This man, everything he said from, and they, hey, man, we, I, what I'm waiting on is that goddamn Oprah, man. Huh. They got to bring out that Oprah. I got it. Cause she been huh. a gatekeeper. Got it. Amos chapter two and verse eleven. And I will raise up your son for prophets, right? And your young men for Nazarites. Is it in even thus, O children of Israel? Nah, nah, that's not that one. The children and women, everybody shall prophesy the spirit of the Lord in the last day. Yeah, when you find it. Mama Gashaw, you can Google that one. Oh. That, that the, the Lord gonna pour His Spirit on all flesh. Oh. And that's why you got, you got you know, the white people coming out the closet and say, man, these are the chosen people of God, man. Oh. These are the chosen people of the Lord, because you can't deny it no more. Man. The Lord is manifesting it, man. You know what's all, God, flesh, all flesh, all flesh, I prophesy. It's all that's going to... Yeah, man. The Lord is putting His Spirit upon many people to come out with this truth. And it's all these lies are being exposed. We're living in the age of information. It's your choice, Shalom. It's your choice to stay young. It's your choice. It's your choice to, to, to not seek out wisdom, to not seek out knowledge. Because knowledge is in the palm of your hand, man. God. And it's free. It's free with your cell phone bill. You got the knowledge in the palm of your hand, you got a smartphone, and you don't choose it to be smart. Right. You use it to be to dumb down, to even dumb, to be more dumber than you are. Right. Okay, you found it yet? Found it. Uh, it says, uh, Acts, uh, Acts 2, 2 and 17. That's Acts, Acts 2. Acts 2 and 17. Let me get Joel. Mm-hmm. Joel, I said. Joel, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Joel 2 and 28. 2 and 28. Joel 2 and 28. That's the one I want. I remember Jake. Down there, when I was teaching that five boy, he said, You ain't my mama. You ain't my daddy. You just a nigga in the alley. That, that song was a joke. That real? Yeah, Jake is off, man. Oh, man. Yeah, he, he, he was teaching. He said, You ain't my mama. You ain't my daddy. You just a 